children. Welcome again, again to our English class online. Okay? We are in fourth grade. And now we are going to, to work. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, now you are going to tell me the date, please. Okay? Uh, I already wrote the date here. Okay. Yes, today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. Okay? Very good, kids. Um, well, let's continue with this uh, flashcards because now you are going to do a sentence with each place. Okay? Everybody repeat. Airport, bus station, cinema or movie theater, church, museum. Okay, kids, you are going to write a sentence with one of each word and for example i'm going to write here an example of one you know for example airport airport okay for example in the tense that you want in present or past or future or in present perfect as you want okay my sentence is going to be this for example when i go to um, Acapulco. When I go to Acapulco, I go to the airport. And big sentences, lots of sentences, kids. And take a plane. Okay? Uh, play. Okay. Okay, you are going to write long sentences, kids, not small sentences, not short sentences. For example, the airport is big? Mm -mm. No. Or the church is very tall? Mm -mm. You are going to write sentences, complete sentences. And for example, this. When I go to Acapulco, I go to the airport and take a plane. Okay? You understand perfectly that sentence, okay? And you are going to do five sentences. Bus station, movie theater or cinema, church, and museum. Okay, now kids, um, you are going to do it for homework because it's too much time uh, for to do this exercise. Okay, we are going to continue with some spelling words that you are going to spell. Okay, I have here my box of spelling, and you are going to spell just five, but five um, difficult words, kids. Okay, do you remember how do you spell, uh, how do you spell hammock? Okay, spell it please for me. Okay, tell me. Uh, number one is going to be hammock. H A M M. O C K or you can say double M. Okay, let's continue with another difficult word. Okay, binoculars. Okay, spell binoculars, please. Okay, B I N O C U A A R S. Binoculars. Very good, kids. Okay, another difficult word, uh, satellite. Okay, can you spell satellite? Okay, very good. S A T E double L I T E. Satellite. Very good, kids. Um, another one, well, there are two words. Okay, water plant. Can you spell it for me, please? Okay, W A T E R space P L A N T water plant. Very good, kids. Now another difficult um, photography. Okay, can you spell it for me, please? P H O T O G R A B H Y Photography. Okay? Yes? Okay.
Okay, now let's read again the words. Okay, we have here hammock, binoculars, satellite, water plant, and photography. Okay? Okay, kids. And now we're going to study some grammar. Okay? Do you remember these question words? We have here who, when, what, which, and where. Okay, you are going to write a question with one of each of these words. Okay? And these questions. For example, um, with who? Okay? Okay, copy in your notebook these words. And you already have the summary in your notebook. Okay? About uh, what's the meaning of each of these question words. Okay, for example, number one. Um, tell me a question with who. For example, who? 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 Your favorite, your favorite singer. We are going to make here a singer. Okay? Who is your favorite singer? Okay? And, um, okay, answer the question. My favorite singer is, okay. Another question with when. Okay, you know when. Okay. When is your birthday? I don't know. Okay, you are going to continue. Uh, another one with what? Okay? Okay. Think in a sentence and tell me. Okay. What's your favorite movie, for example? Okay? Movie. Okay? And you... I will want you how to do the, the question, no? This is only an example. What and you do the question, okay? And then answer. Okay, another one with which. For example, uh, which food, which food do you prefer? Burgers or hot dogs? Okay, it's an example. And answer. And the number five is with where? Okay, where, you know, where is it done? Okay, and okay, you are going to write a question with where. Uh, where did you go last week? Okay, for example, and you are going to answer here. Okay, you have two jobs. Okay, one and two. Okay, well, let's work with our uh, language book because, okay, you know that in the literacy book, we, the literacy book, we already finished unit 8. And I'm going to tell you again, okay, this was the unit 8 and this was the non-fiction story. Do you remember the non-fiction story? A real story. And we already read, you answer this, ready? And Actors on Set. Okay, this is a fiction story because it's like a cartoon. Okay, you already read it at home. So we finished this unit. Okay, so we are going to continue with a game. This is a game with the words that you know. We have here in the language book, okay, this is going to be page 112 and 113, okay? We have here unit 7 and 8. This is um, as a review, okay? Have a crossword. La mitad de un, ¿qué? De un rompecabezas o de un, how do you say this? This game, a puzzle. Okay, now, okay, you are going to answer these questions and you are going to, well, it could be better if you, you do it with a friend or with a, some one of your classmates, but uh, 
we can do that now. So, okay, you are going to, to check. And for example, we have here the word studio, okay? And your, your partner, well, in this case you, you are going to write this studio. But you are going to answer this. Answer this, uh, for example. It's a place. You have to do the question. Maybe your dad and your mom uh, can ask these questions for you. No? It's a place where you go for um, to, to record a, a, a picture or, yes, a picture. It can be studio, studio, okay? And here are some more questions. Okay, about, for example, it's a person who you are going to think and you are going to look in these two pages and, for example, it's a person who directs a movie. Okay, who is it? Okay, maybe the director. Okay, you are going to see in what place you can uh, put the letters of director. We have here director, okay? And it can be here on the other page too. Okay, um, I, think the, I think that it's a fun, a fun job, but you have to think a lot. And if you don't know one word, you can go to the vocabulary words and check. For example, we have here some words uh -huh, in unit 8, and we have here other words in unit 8, but this puzzle is from unit 7. So you go back and then you can see here another words, and at the beginning of unit 7, here you have another words. Okay? Okay, kids. Okay, this is going to be, uh, well, much work, but okay, we have to do the review and then we are going to check it next class. Okay, kids? Well, I think that it's all for today. Okay? Um, have a nice day and I'll see you next class. Okay? Thank you, kids. Bye-bye.